Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. good evening, teacher. Hello, Hector. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Jose. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Genaro Ramos. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, teacher. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. How was your weekend? Good. What did you do this weekend? Yes, resting at home. Relax. Are you going to do anything special for the vacation? No, nothing. No, no beach, no going to the club, restaurants. I can travel because I'm full. Oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, guys, um, let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What vocabulary do you remember? What expressions do you remember, etc.? Present continuous. Continuous. What is ah present con like present continuous? Present continuous. Continuous. Present continuous. Okay, so that was, we looked at uh, present continuous from this section. Uh, we looked a little bit about asking about the family. family. We looked at uh, using the chart to identify the relationship, grandmother, father, uncle, wife, sister-in-law. <laughs> Cousin, niece, very good. We also looked at the present continuous, like yes. uh, Josue was saying. And we looked at the last section, which was family size using quantifiers. So we're going to review this section. Vamos a repasar esta sección. Aquí paramos el fin de semana pasado. So we're just going to review it, take notes, and uh, you can ask me questions referring to the topic. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Families are smaller these days. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Yo, Jose Avalo. All right, Josue Avalos, usted va a ser Marcos. Okay. Y necesitamos uno que sea May Lee. One student can be May Lee. Okay, Tamara Valdez is May Lee. Action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child, 
no no days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right, birthday presents, lots of birthday presents. Good job. Okay. All right, let me have two I have a question. Yes. I'm, I'm confu confused when I go to use the children, child, and baby boy. Oh, okay. Your confusion is uh, when you use baby boy, child, and boy. Is that your question? Yes. Okay. So if I say, for example, um, I have one child, or you can say I have one son, right? You can say both. I have one child or I have one son. Uh, you can say, for example, he is my baby boy right you would imagine that you have three children and one of the children is the baby of the children uh, okay. you say he is my baby boy that means that he is the child of the boys or the little one of the boys okay uh, and what's the other one no huh no. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, any more questions referring to this information? Okay. So this was the uh, the review. Great. Because you get now we're going to go ahead and look at the following one. For the following one, we're looking at 5.7. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. En esta clase, los participantes se les mostra los adjetivos cuantitativos y sus significados. Okay. So we're looking at quantitativos, quantifiers. Listen, please. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All family. Child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. 
As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay. Now, in this activity, um, do you have any questions related to the quantifiers? Teacher? Yes. No one is the same, nobody. That is correct. The same okay. thing. Nobody, nadie, no one. Okay. It's Thanks. the same thing, yes. Another question? Good question. Another question? Nobody? Okay. Now, for this activity, what you are going to do is you are going to select at least five quantifiers. At least five. All, nearly all. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. So I would like for you to take a couple of minutes and you're going to give me one, two, three, four, five. You select, you select five quantifiers and you're going to write the sentence at the bottom in the discussion forum right here. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Ready, let's go. Uh, I can see Lisbeth Murcia. Hola, Lisbeth. Hello, Lisbeth. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. No, no, se conecta. What happened? Hello, hello. Sí, solo, solo no, no se conecta. ¿no? Ah, ok. Stephanie Ajá. Morales. Ok. Utilizar las, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Con, ah, las, los. Quantifiers. Las That's quantifiers. right. That's right. Los quantifiers. Ah, ok. Eso es correct. Ok. Mm. 
5.8. Sí. Eh, sería my family is. Is. A few es como poca, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. My family is. Pero, oíme. Ajá. Lo, lo vamos a hacer utilizando la, estas que están acá. Por, eh, por ejemplo, ahí decía que all families have only one child. O puede ser okay. nearly all families have only one child. Sí, pero uno de los verbos a few eh, también es quantifier. Ah, sí, 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 claro. Entonces. Pero vamos a elegir solo una de esas. Cinco. Una. Cinco ejemplos. Cinco, cinco, cinco. ejemplos. That's right. For example, but, but we can use all quantified. That is correct. Okay. Mm. It's okay, my family is a few. Mm -mm. My, my family, family is small. It's small. Mm -hmm. My family is small. My family is small, but uh, the family, the my husband is old. My husband's family. My husband's family. That's right. Hello, Jenny. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, by Gresando. Si. Okay. We are working on the section over here, 5.8, quantifiers. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Right here on this section. Using at least five quantifiers, at least. Hector? Stephanie? Sí, ahorita. Estaba llenando algunas. No. Hello, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> ya está empezando a hacer. Ok. Eso va a ser una de los tres primeros. ¿Cuál es el ejercicio que vamos a hacer? Uy, no es de este, el, el 5.8. Ok. ¿Cuánto? Déjeme, eh, porque sí, no me quiere. Yo ya hice el ejercicio, ya lo tengo hecho. Solo déjeme reiniciar porque no, no me está cargando el Inter. Ah, vaya, está bien. Usted ya lo hizo, compañero. ¿Perdón? ¿Ya hizo el ejercicio? Eh, se le corta, o sea, no se le escucha ahorita. Ahí se toma la señal en este momento. Oh, ah, es que está fallando. Por ratito se le escucha y por ratito. Sí, me está fallando el Inter. Ah, entonces ya la, ya la va, ya la, ya las hizo, ya las publicó. Creo que sí. Okay. Yo ahorita las estaba haciendo porque ahorita las estoy pasando. Family are living without living wage. And most families in the Salvador are disintegrated. Mm. And nowadays, nowadays, no bar. Ya tenemos las seis, creo. Me avisas cuando tengas la otra. Vaya, ya te des las seis. Ah, espera, espera, espera. No, ya tenés tú la otra. No, es que fíjate que yo había practicado en unas eh, prácticamente de las que, de las que decía la, la plataforma, por ejemplo, tenía 
en China el 50%, o sea, o the woman get married by the age of eh, 20, 22. Entonces, o sea, las preguntas esas son las que había trabajado en ellas. Son preguntas relativamente a, a esta parte. Bien, vaya, voy a dar, llevamos cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Número seis, no many person have a green responsibility. No many, no many person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a unit. unit. Unidas. Unidas. Okay. No, some. Some. No. Permit. Permítame, Patricia. Seguiríamos con la otra. Um. Ok. Son. Es como algunas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Some girls are That's right. blonde. Brown. Some. Some girls. Girls. Some girls. Are blonde. ¿Cómo se dice rubia? Blondie. Blonde. You train. Are. Uh, I. I uh, Son your different on. The... Do you take the next uh, um, course? What? Will you take the next course? El siguiente curso. Yes. Eh, yes, pero ah, um, ¿Cómo decirte que no estoy seguro? Porque como en la empresa ya Ya dije, o sea, informé de que De que ya nos estaban pidiendo que nos reescribiéramos Pero no me han dado respuesta So, what do you have to do? What they All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers. Teacher. Two. Yes, it is. I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, the, um, the quantifiers, yes, we have to use them uh, at the first of the sentences or I can use in the middle or at the end of the sentences. Doesn't matter in the position. Right, uh, yes. Oh, it is important. Uh, well, normally uh, for these kinds of quantifiers, uh, when you have quantifiers like uh, all, nearly all, most, um, you will use the quantifier in the beginning of the sentence. But if you have, for example, well, not really in the beginning of the sentence, but before the subject. Before the subject. That's right, before the subject. Always before the subject. This is the subject. So it means that, so uh -huh. it's mean that if I say, well, um, we have a good relationship, nearly all our neighbor is incorrect the pos because of the position. Correct. You would say nearly all my neighbors 
have a good relationship. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna move on and we're gonna look at 5.9. Knowledge check, 5.9, knowledge check. Instructions, read the following sentences and select the response with the quantifier closest in meaning. Instrucciones, lea las siguientes oraciones, seleccione la respuesta con el adverbio de cantidad que más se le aproxime. For example, number one, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So here we're going to say in China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In China, few women get married by the age of 22. In China, all women get married by the age of 22. What is your answer? What is in your China, answer? What, in China, a lot of women. China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. By the age of 22 is correct. By the age. Correct. By the age of 22. All right, any questions related to this, uh, these sentences? Anything. Okay, Nothing. let's work together and then we will check it together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Me too. Okay. Vamos a ver. It's a little easy. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. But we can read. Yeah. Can you start? Uh, okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Dale. Juan, Juan, en China, China. Eh, en China, en eh, China, en China, eh, para decir el 50%, 50%, 50%, uh -huh. ok, 50% of the woman, of woman, of, of woman, get married, divide and gain, of 22, and the rest, res, eh, como decirte, la seleccionada es la ah, in, eh, in China, a lot of women we were married by the game. Ahí se dice, get married. Get married. Uh -huh, get married. By the, by the game. By the age. By the age. Age. Uh -huh. By the gay of 22. Of 22. Or 22. Of uh -huh. 22. Okay. Okay, the second one. And the second one in Australia. 87. Percent. 87 percent uh -huh. of, of marrying. Of marrying. Of marrying. Marrying. Uh -huh. Couple have children. Ahí en se dice of, lo pronuncias como una O y una V, of married. Of marrying. Uh -huh. Of married couple. Couples. Couples have, have children. Uh -huh. Children. Okay, have children. In uh -huh. Australia, nearly all of the all of married couples have children. What is the, the correct response? What? 
What is the correct response? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta ahí? Eh, in the Australia, nearly. 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 Uh -huh. Or the Marine. All of Mary. All, all of of Mary. All of. All of. Así all of. All of Mary. Mary. Couples have okay. children. Have children. Have children. Okay. Number three. At the age of 18. In the United States, no one vote before the age of 18. Okay. Number four. 30, 35 percent of the people in Germany live alone. Some people in Germany live alone. Yes. Um, seven, seven, five. Se, ajá, five es, ¿cómo se dice? 70, 78, for, 78 percent of American high school students have jobs. Most American high school student, students have jobs. Okay. A lot of is, ya saben los significados, va alguna que no sepan. Por ejemplo, yo nearly all. All right, I think that everybody is finished. Let's go ahead and check. It says number two, one volunteer for number two. Let me have one volunteer for number two. Me, teacher, Iris. All right, Iris, number two, please. In Australia, the 87% of married couples have children. Mm. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Number three, answer number three. Very good. Thank you, Iris. Number three, another volunteer. Number three. Me, teacher. All right, Patricia. In the United, in the United States, several percent of the people bought before the age of a, a, 18? 18. 18. 18. 18. Answer is in the United States no one bought before the age of 18. Perfect. Excellent, Patricia. Number four, the next volunteer. Me, teacher. Uh, who said me, teacher? Jenny. 35, yeah. All right. 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Very good. The correct, some people in Germany live alone. Perfect, live alone. And the last one, the last one, number five. Number five. Number five. 80, 17 age person of American high school students have jobs. All American high school students have jobs. Mm, all American students are have, you sure? I, no, no, no. Porque 78 no is all. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay, that's more acceptable. Most American, very good. Okay, any questions related to this uh, this topic? Questions related to this topic? Questions, questions? Somebody, somebody? 
No questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's move forward. We're looking at 5.10. 5. In this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. En esta clase, los participantes le harán un artículo sobre familias y sus cambios. The Changing Family. Reading Exercise. Instructions. Read the article. Van a leer este artículo. Then answer the questions. Estas preguntas. Any questions? Do you understand? Yes. No question. Hi. Uh, I want to know uh, how can I review um, my progress in the platform? Oh, very good question. You will go to where it says, it says up here, Progreso. Where, where? Progreso. Okay. And then there you will see your progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Con, ah, progress. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, ready? Let's do the reading activity. Let's go. Hi, Jacqueline Sousa. We're gonna put Tamara in number five and Jacqueline in number three. Okay. Sí, sí. Bueno, yo no, no tengo, porque tengo que leer entonces. Uh -huh. American families are shining, 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 ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Shining. The American families are changing, changing, changing. One uh -huh. import, import, important change is that not Mary. A woman now work outside this home. What happened when both parents work real about the moral fam family? Okay, I will read the second one. Judy and Steven, Steven Morales have three children. Young's 12, Ben 9, and Emily 6. Steven is a computer pro programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, now, now that Judy is working, still has to help her more while well, will will the house housework. Mm -hmm. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries 
about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday. So Stephen and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is uh, having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her, her up, she doesn't want to leave. Okay. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program right now. He's spending most of afternoon in front of TV. Ay, perdí la página. Voy a leer la, la, la última. Okay. Okay. Josh. Josh okay. is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay. Okay. okay, we children are benefiting from Judy's working. I think Emily. Joyce is and he's new freedom. Mm. An American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happened when both parents parents work? Read about the more mor moralist family. Judy and Phil Morales have three children, Josh 12, Ben 9, and Emily 6. Steve is a computer programmer. He said Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is doing well, but there are also some problems. Okay. Let's, um, let's read again. Okay. Um, American okay, I, families are changing. One important change is that most married women not work outside the home. What happens is when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily. Six. Uh, Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. So, okay. Um, what is the answer in the first questions? Uh, which children? All right, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? finished. Yes, teacher, but I have two mistakes in the number one and number four. Okay. Did you fix it? Okay. Let's look at the first one. Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Who? 
Emily and Josh. That's right. Which children are benefiting? Emily and J O R G E. George. Okay. The next one Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben. 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 Poor Ben. Which family member is enjoying Josh. more freedom? Josh. 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 Okay. Number four. Which family member members are doing more housework? Ben and Josh. Ben. Steven. And Joseph. And Steven. Okay. No. No, no. Steve. Oh, no. George Steve. and Steven. Steve and Josh. 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 No. No. Steve. Teach. Teach. Steve and Josh. Steve and Josh. Steve and Josh. Okay. okay. Which family member feels too busy? Judy. Judy. Judy, right. Mm -hmm. She's working too much. Oh. It's still, still and Joyce. Oh, there it is. Steve and, and Josh. Yes. All right, there it is. Oh, and here is Josh. It says, which children are benefiting Emily from and Josh? Josh, 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 uh, Gemily and -A. Josh, Josh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was George. Okay, awesome. Now, let me have one volunteer. I want you to read the first paragraph. One volunteer, I want you to read the first, okay, go ahead, Joshua. Yes. Go ahead, Joshua. You can read here. American families are changing. Mm -hmm. Okay. The letter is a little smaller. Okay. Can you see? American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside at home. What happens when the both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay. Awesome. There are also some problems. No, select somebody, Josh, to continue reading where it says, now Patricia. that Judy is working. Patricia. Patricia. Mm -hmm. OK. Now, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Very good. He doesn't enjoy it. All right, Genaro Ramos, Judy. Okay, Judy, love her well, but she feels too tiny and busy. She has busy. to work busy. 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 She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday. So Stephen and Judy does, don't have a long free time together. Excellent. Don't have a lot of free time together. Uh, let me have the next one. Emily, I want Jacqueline Sousa. Read Emily. Oh, 
All right. Uh, Daniel Palacios, read Emily. Emily is having a great time on the hereafter school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave it. Very good. Repeat, leave, leave, no E, leave. leave. And, yeah, and the last one is Jenny Mendez. On the fourth night, Bem High School does not have to own after school programs right now. She is building most afternoon in front of the TV. Very good. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Excellent. And the last one, it is Josh. Okay. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and is spending more time on the farm. He's also doing a few household chores. Chores, perfect. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you all for joining the class, and we will see you, Thank you to tomorrow. You. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Enjoy. See you tomorrow.